Hello, and today we will be covering Billing 3, Creating and Sending Batch Statements. In today's webinar, we will be covering setting billing options and filters, determining statement settings, creating the billing list, and sending the statement. Batch billing is done in our Billing in the Manage module, and batch billing can be run daily, monthly, or per your practice preference. The options that we will see determine which statements show when generating the billing list. Let's get started. We want to go ahead and be in the manage module, like I said before, and we're going to go ahead and click on billing. So the first thing that I am seeing right now is that I have a list of bills and my bills option window comes up. What this means is that I have some unsent statements and this can happen by creating a statement in the account module and either not printing that statement or sending it, emailing it, or pushing it to the patient portal. In this case, if you get this window, instead of the billing options, you have a couple things that you can do. We can either close this window out and get a pop-up which explains that I may leave this window open while I'm working, but if I do decide to close it, I will delete all unsent bills. If I click yes, it's gonna go ahead and delete that statement, and then I'll have to click back into the billing. If I decide I don't want to go ahead and do that, I could go ahead and hit cancel, and then we could print the statement from here if we'd like, or right click to go to that account. But since we want to go ahead and do our batch statement, I'm going to go ahead and click on close. And I'm going to say yes to this pop up. Since I said yes, it's going to go ahead and let me know how many statements have been deleted. I'll click OK. And then that window will go away and we'll just have to click on billing again. And here are our billing options window. So let's start from the very top. Here are our filters. So the include anyone not billed since. This includes statements for families who have not been billed since this date. It does default to one month prior and usually does not need to be changed. Include any accounts with insurance payments, procedures, or pay, pay plan charges since the last bill. This option includes statements for families who may have received a bill in the last 30 days, but have since had an insurance payment come in, had procedures completed, or has a payment plan charge due or charges that will be due within the number of days set in the Manage Module Preferences days in advance to bill payment plan amounts due. Age of account. This will go ahead and only generate statements for families who have account balances in a specific aging category. Exclude bad address, no zip code. When checked, this will not create a statement for guarantors with no zip code. Exclude inactive families. When checked, this will not create a statement for families where all members have status of inactive. The intent is to allow you to track outstanding balances for inactive families without sending a bill for the balance. Exclude if insurance pending. When checked, this will not create statements for families who have one or more family members with an outstanding claim, which is any status other than received. Exclude if unsent dental procedures. Do not create statements for families with one or more family members who have unsent dental procedures dated in the last six months. The purpose of this option is to prevent sending a statement before a claim is created. So for example, in larger, larger organizations where billing is done in a separate department. Exclude if balance is less than. This will not generate statements for families that have a balance less than the set amount and negative numbers are allowed in this field. Show negative balances. If checked, these patients will be included even if you have entered a negative balance value for excluded balances less than. So this will create statements for fam families with a negative balance. If unchecked, Patients with a negative balance will not be forcefully excluded, rather the exclude if balance is less than value will be considered. Ignore walkout in-person statements. If checked, families who were given a walkout statement will be included in the billing list. 
billing types. Here, we will go ahead and select the billing types to include. I'm including all. Clinics. This option will only show if you have clinics enabled. And this clinic selection determines which clinics default filter options show. It can also be used to filter the billing list. Users can only select clinics that they have access to. And to set filter options for a specific clinic, select the clinic before selecting any filter options. Click at the drop down to switch clinics or select all to select all clinics. And use clinic default billing options. This option only shows when all is the selected clinic in the drop down. And this is useful when each clinic has different filter filter defaults, yet you want to run the billing list for all clinics at once. Checking this option will generate each clinic statements using its filter defaults. And the save as default. This will go ahead and save the selected settings as the default filter options. If a clinic is selected, the options will be saved for the selected clinic. If all is selected as the clinic, the button will be grayed out. We'll need to change the clinic to an unsigned uh, instead. So let's go ahead and do that. And the default will save for all as well. So if I click on save as default with clinics unsigned, this will go ahead and save these defaults for all of my clinics. So let's go ahead and do that. And my settings are saved. account history date range. Now the default settings here for this little middle part section are determined by the de billing defaults, which is this defaults button here. And we covered this information in billing one. So please reference that webinar, which we'll have a link below. So the account history date range is set a start and end date to determine how much account activity will show on each statement. So we can override our defaults. So we have options to either set last 30 days, 45, all dates. Uh, clicking all dates will clear the start date and will print the entire account history on each statement. Option here for show all transactions since zero or negative balance. If checked, all transactions since the last date, the account balance was zero, will print on the statement. The default account history date range will be ignored if this is checked. The defaults button. This will give us access to our billing defaults window. And again, we covered this information in billing one webinar. Intermingle family members. When checked, family members will be mixed together on the statement and ordered by date. When unchecked, each family member will have their own section on the statement with a total. Electronic billing is always intermingled. And then group by superfamily. This is only an option if superfamily is enabled. The checkbox to create super statements instead of statements for each superfamily guarantor. And a super statement will be addressed to the head of the superfamily and include account activity for all superfamily members grouped by guarantor. And of course, the general message. So this is the general message that we'll go ahead and show in addition to our Dunning messages and appointment reminders. And now we'll want to go ahead and create list. Once we click on create list, we'll get our bills window. And this is our list of all of the statements that fit the, fit the filter criteria. In this window, you see that we have some options. We have sort and filter options up here. Sent and unsent. You can toggle the list to view sent and unsent statements. This is useful for if you need to do undo billing. We can sort by billing type or patient name. And we can only show guarantors uh, with the clinic here associated with the selected clinic. We can also filter by statement dates. We have some other options here on the right-hand side of this window. Edit selected. 
This will edit several bills at once. You'll highlight the bills, then click Edit, Selected, and any changes affect all selected bills. So in this window, we can go ahead and make some adjustments if need be. We have our Defaults button here. And this opens a limited view of billing defaults window to modify electronic billing credentials if you guys are sending electronically. So let's click on that. And so if we had a username and password, if we were sending electronically, that wouldn't be grayed out and we would be able to go ahead and update that information. We have the all button here, which will select all patients in the list. We have the none button down here. We'll deselect all patients in this list. And we have the print list, which will print the list of bills. We can double click into a statement. So highlight one and double click into one to view the statement. And we have more options in here. Or we can right click and go to, and it will take us to that patient's account. The bills will show as an unsent statement in individual accounts. So notice here that we have one that says unsent with today's date. And the billing list window will remain open in the background over here, down here. And so we can go ahead and click on send to send our statements and the statements will be generated and or sent based on their mode. And so let's talk about that. We have the modes here listed. Right now I have mail, which means that this will go ahead and print to PDF. It's going to open all statements in Adobe where they can be printed. If you have electronic billing, it will show in the mode column as electronic. And this is two third parties and each third party is different. And then if you guys have email as a billing type, that will mo show mode will show here as email. This is an option, but it's not recommended for HIPAA reasons. And so if I click on send, we'll get this little pop-up that says that I will be prepared to wait up to 10 minutes. And once this is complete, the PDF print preview will be launched in Adobe Reader. Um, you will print from that program. Do I want to continue? I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And because in my Manage Module Preferences, I have the billing progress checked to show. That's why we're seeing that progress. And now, as you can see, I have printed and it shows me a little breakdown of how those statements went. So I had 11 that were printed, zero that we emailed. We didn't have anything that was uh, texted. And so we'll go ahead and click OK. And so those did open up or are opening up in the background, as you can see. And from here, I can do like one last check if need be to go through these statements to make sure that everything looks OK. And then from here, I will go ahead and print this list. We'll move that window out and we'll go ahead and close out. Let's go back to the manage module. So what happens if I my billing statements didn't print all the way. I only had 11 in this billing run, but my printer went kind of funky. And so now I've got to print out some of those statements because they didn't print out correctly. My ink ran out for whatever reason. We have to do undo some of those billing. So let's go back to billing. Since I've caught that mistake today, it's going to be a little bit easier. So we're going back into the billing options window. We're gonna go ahead and go down here to undo billing. This will give us a pop-up that says when the billing list comes up, use the radio button at the top to show the sent bills. Then change their status back to unsent, and then you can edit them as a group using the button at the right. So let's click OK. So it is blank because right now it is on the radio button of unsent. Let's change that back to sent, and here are those bills that I sent. Again, because this was done and caught today and I did my billing run today, it is a little bit easier. If we needed to go ahead and do that, let's say it was over the weekend, something happened, I had to come back on Monday to redo the billing, we would just need to go ahead and change our date range here. So the start date is always going to go ahead and end date will default to today's date, but if you need to go back, this is where you're gonna go ahead and change your date. So, I noticed that on my run, the last 
good statement to print was at Robert. So now I'm going to highlight from Julia down so that only those statements will print for me. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight. Those are highlighted now. And then we'll click on the send button again. Same process. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. My billing progress bar is showing. And now my PDF has come up. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and print the statements that didn't print out in my last batch. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And now that those have gone ahead and printed out, I can go ahead and say yes to these. None of them were deleted because it was just a reprint. And so that is batch statements in billing three. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.